Rum Day DC five year anniversary on the rooftop of Jack Rose. Hashtag Rum Club Rooftop. I'm here with Caribbean Soul Trekkers and we, we get, get it in! Shout out to Caribbean Soul Trekkers, Bar C, RSC, Rum Runners International. Look, we're here in DC. We get prep for St. Martin in November 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. You might as well just go to St. Martin and stay. Already got the rum. It's already going to be hot. Just come down, have a good time with us. And we're experiencing rum in D.C. And we're going to experience it in the Caribbean. So come on out. Distilleries. We're gonna let her take the show. Tell us about her absolutely fantastic rum brand. Here from Rum Day DC, um, we have a really amazing program coming to uh, Dupont Circle in DC in about a week from today. Uh, we are a coffee house that's featuring counterculture coffee. Um, it's definitely direct trade, so all organic and natural. We also have a cafe program run by a chef who uh, came to us from New York. We have a gorgeous, absolutely amazing cocktail bar. And on top of that, if you think that wasn't enough, we got a yoga studio upstairs. So we are so excited to have everything. Um, mostly everything we're using in our house is either local or as local as we possibly can be so we can support all the businesses in the area just as much as they're supporting us. Urban Soul Checkers here with one of the founders from Rum Day DC 2016 for their fifth anniversary. Tell us more about how we've gotten to this place and how successful today's event was. Um, today's event has been amazing. It's been truly successful. Uh, I can't say thank you enough to all of the individuals that came to support Rum Day DC for our fifth year anniversary. Uh, we got started five years ago. Uh, my co-founder, Clyde Davis, who's roaming around somewhere, entertaining guests. Uh, we both, at that time, worked for two different rum brands. Uh, he worked for Chairman's Reserve. I worked for Atlantico Rum at that time. And uh, this was a way to introduce people to the category of rum and kind of highlight that category of rum. And from where it started, a, a small event of probably about 25, 30 people to what it is now. Um, a national event because we've done events in other cities. We've been to Miami, we've been to Pittsburgh, we've been to New York, uh, and we've just continued to grow. And uh, I'm just really appreciative because DC gets overlooked as uh, a city, as a community that supports brands and supports the industry. Uh, and this proves that we are here, the city is vibrant, it's alive, and uh, rum has made a resurgence in a huge way.